Coming up, a mother watches in horror as her daughter's life hangs in the balance. Childhood. A time of innocence. An innocence that fades, gradually, invisibly. But not for all. Twelve-year-old girl, a carefree ride on the Ferris wheel, slowly spinning, gently rocking her in its cradle, and then, without warning, the cradle did fall. The way the Ferris wheel was sitting is whenever you went up, you would see the ocean and all, and the ocean looked real nice, everything looked peaceful, everybody having a good time. And it was a nice, sunny summer day. I was having fun, you know, I was enjoying myself. When they went up the backside to make their third turn, we heard a real loud noise and bodies started flying. Have you ever seen your mother use a mixer and mix fly everywhere? This is what it looked like. Bodies would just shoot out of there, just, just like they were just being spit out and they're being beat back and forth, just like tennis shoes and clothes dryer. It seemed like it was hours where time just stopped, just really slow. And that was my daughter. It felt like a nightmare. Like I had went to sleep and all of this was happening and I thought, I'm gonna wake up, I'm gonna wake up real soon. But I was awake. I could see her face. But something in the back of my head said, if you scream her name, she'll look for you and she'll fall. I think it was like 47 feet, face first on the asphalt. I feel like if she had failed, that she would have died because there was no motion. And I think with her just falling straight down into this heavy stuff because it was all steel, you know, falling head first, it probably could have broken her neck. I was trying to pull myself up, and I felt pain in my right arm. And I remember hollering, I want to let go, I want to let go. I could hear her saying something, but I couldn't make out what she was saying over the screams. And then I heard a voice. I looked and I saw this man and he said don't let go do not let go hang on and he kept talking to me and telling me just to hang on help was coming he was my guardian angel felt like I was hanging there forever and then I felt hands grab onto me When I felt those hands, it felt like I'm saved. Her arm was broke completely in two, like one inch from the socket of her shoulder. You tell me how she managed to get her arm up and pull her body upright to hang. I don't know how she did it. you're going to get on a Ferris wheel and lose your life. We were very, very grateful that night. It's been a long time and it still hurts. Since then, I'm scared she's going to get hurt. Scarlett's had severe headaches for years. She'd sit at the table and lay her head down and cry because the pain was so bad. I wish we had not gone to the beach. I wish we had stayed home. I wish we had argued. I wish we had done anything to prevent what happened. When you go through something like this, you really think things over. Don't take anything for granted. Take care of your children. Regardless.
regardless if they get mad, take care of your children. I love them.